Hey guys, I wanted to, I was going to do a little flip through of this uh, art journal that I have in progress. I have several uh, in progress. Um, probably this one I really started working on a year ago, maybe even two years ago. Two years, you, yeah, two years ago. I really don't know. Um, but I use a lot of upcycle books. This actually came from um, probably a, I'm pretty sure, a thrift store. And it's actually a children's book, Cat's Cradle. Um, for those old school out there, it actually it teaches how to do the string tricks. I don't know if you're uh, old enough to remember that or too young to know what the heck that is, but it actually came with some little strings and stuff here. I'm not sure what the holes are for in the middle, but um, so that you could learn the little tricks like Jacob's Ladder and everything like that. Um, so I like to take books that you know probably aren't going to be used anymore um, in make them into journals. So this is actually the back of the book, but I wanted to show you, you know, I covered up the little holes and stuff because it had, uh, I believe it had the same thing here. But um, what I did is just go in and make just different background pages and it's a lot easier to just to get a background page started up and here's one I'm using, uh, learning a lot about distress inks from that, uh, the crafty, craftsy class I keep mentioning. And um, this is one that's going to go into um, that to into this journal as well. So, um, and I want to mention too, this is made with a vanilla folder. I just actually cut it to the right size, and I will have the little. You see how it's got rounded corners here? I've got a rounded corner punch that I will use on that uh, before I tape it in. But here's just some of the backgrounds that I've created and I'll go get a whim and think ooh you know what I think I know what will go here and we'll just stick that there um, this one's got a really vintage girl in it from I've got some French newspaper and some old newspaper just some things that you know the early 1900s that I take things out of sometimes um, some random I think these are both metallic the red one's metallic. You can see all that, but just random. Um, this is something wadded up and taped in here. This is one of my favorites. I can't wait to use it. It's actually um, a couple different things. There's an old letter in here, and then there's a napkin that's kind of ripped into pieces and put in here. This one, I, I keep just thinking I'm probably just going to leave it like it is, even though there's no message or anything special about it, but a little circles and hearts and it's got some great texture so um, next some, just some spray ink um, some some paint here probably probably just there with some paint you've got the um, book pieces in here and then just some stencils just something simple for that one that probably back when I was still learning <laughs> what I was doing um, now there's some more vintage pictures some, this is just torn up pieces of paper with color on it. These are probably when I do um, my work, I like to take a piece of paper and I will usually put it behind what I'm working on and I'd have another one over here and then all the you know leftovers, inks, any kind of marker, any kind of stuff paint will end up on the, that paper. And then I will I save it, and um, that's probably what that is. And I tore it up and just glued it in. Now with the the, the inks, of course, they're water reactive, so I like to use some hairspray uh, <clears throat> to try to prevent that. There's all kinds of uh, mediums and stuff you can put on that to too, so that it, it won't mix in. But I probably won't care at that point, and just do something else to that background. Um, that just looks totally random kind of mess right there and then this um, I just did recently and it's it's on my website right now at creativelytina.com um, and I made that this page as well with the uh, distress ink um, class that I'm taking well when I think that that's just one page yeah and so you can see it's kind of warped but this is the same thing vanilla manila folder that was glued into here and then these are super cute um, in the background if you look kind of hard it's an old napkin it's a really pretty napkin and I just kind of outlined a little bit of it 
but mainly just left it in the background. Then everything else is made, most everything else, not the leaves, most everything else is made with a, a book, just the words from a book, page from a book. And this is Life is a Story, Make a Bestseller. And this one says, See Life from All Angles, and she's just kind of hanging upside down. I know I hand drew that one. Yeah, I had to hand draw drew her as well. But I love how her, she's hanging upside down and her hair is just dangling there. Um, this is the same thing as that other just ripped up some pages, leftover uh, stuff. Um, this is watercolor on the background. And I, I actually put this on the website too. It's, it doesn't have any... Uh, I made this a long time ago, so it doesn't have a, a, a bit by bit or you know how I assembled it, assembled it or anything. But it's watercolor... Um, I printed that out on the inkjet. I hand drew this, cut it out, card stuck, hand drew that, hand drew all this. So that's a really nice one. Um, probably just some playing with some distress inks when I first got those, and that was like, like I said, a year or so ago, two years ago, maybe, maybe three. I don't know. This is just a regular napkin, you know how, or a paper towel. You know how you uh, and see it's the same design, huh? That's funny, and I did this so long ago. I'm buying the same brand. But when you, you know, mess with inks or anything like that, <clears throat> you'll mop them up. Well, so I did that, and I ended up sticking it down in here. Probably some more pieces left over there, and um, I think that's napkin back there, too. Just a little thing. I saved a lot of, uh, when you get your tea... Um, and they have little tea tags that have messages messages with it. I think I get you some kind of Yogi brand tea. And so I thought that was really cute. It's a really wise hen and she's setting all her little nest eggs of good little sayings and stuff. So, And this one um, I'm just putting up on the website now. Um, I also don't have a full step by step but I do have pictures of it when it was just the background just like this is. Um, so I will also do a post that is just the background and then I'll come back later and have the finished product just to, to show because I think it kind of helps to see you know before and afters and we really don't need to sit and watch I mean it's fun I'm addicted to sitting and watching because I'm going to create a page but doing is much better than just watching so um, it's fun to follow along like in real classes where they're really instructing you step by step like I said on the craft craftsy class and stuff but don't feel like you have to own exactly what they have uh, you know what, what they own to make exactly you know I don't have all the same stencils or anything that these people had but I did learn a lot from the class so anyway and that's pretty much that's it for this book so I still have several pages in it to go before it's completed so, and I didn't even do use the book right. That's probably, that's the front and this is the back, but when I'm done with it, nobody's going to know. So, there you go. Bye.